Hey you guys, so I have been dying to get the kindergarten curriculum video out to show y'all what we are going to do this coming year for Sayla's kindergarten year. We are so excited and I'm hoping that this year we can do school in the classroom. So I'm trying to get the classroom ready. Um, but first off, I just wanted to say hi. Welcome to anybody who's new and welcome to everybody who's back watching us again. My name's Claudette. I have a four and a half year old. She'll be five in October. I also have a one year old who will be two in September. And I'm not doing too much yet with my um, son. He is still learning to talk, still learning about objects. So I may do a toddler time video with him um, just because we are really working hard on like setting the foundation with him. But this is mainly for my daughter. My daughter is four and a half, but she's very clever. So don't think that this is like an overwhelming thing for her um, because it does look like a lot of stuff. But this is 180 days worth of um, curriculum for my daughter, she's very quick, she's very clever, she catches on very quickly. So, morning, let's go ahead and start. Hey! Okay, so I'm so ready to just dive into this. It was just exciting. It was Sayla's very first year of homeschooling. I think she enjoyed um, it. Did you enjoy it, Sayla? Yeah. Come over here. Come over here so they can see you. Did you enjoy your, your pre-K year with Mama? Yeah. And Are you excited for kindergarten? Name. This was my new fox one. Yep, your new fox one. Okay, so we would always start our homeschool day with handwriting. Um, we started pre-littles, um, doodles, and pre-writing with the good and the beautiful. And Sayla really enjoyed this. Like, she was tracing and coloring, and she loves the mazes that are in here. They're very interactive, um, very game-like or, like, word puzzle like so she really enjoyed that then we would read um from our indescribable book this even though there's only a hundred it lasted us the entire year we did one devotion for each day and then um we stopped it during the holidays we did like a christmas unit we also did an easter unit um so that took up the majority of the other 80 days um, so this was perfect. We really loved. I loved it. I want to get the. I want to get the second book um, by Louis Giglio. I want to say it's called Everything About My World or something world related. But Indescribable was awesome. We enjoyed it. Um, so many great facts. A lot of things I didn't even know in here. And I love how he related science to the Bible and b biblical um, stories and biblical facts to science. Um, so I just, I love, I love the concept that he had with that. I wish that there was more than just the two books. Um, I need to look and see if there's more that we can use. And I feel like because that could um, be used with an older age range um, that we may in a couple years, once my son is older, flip back to the indescribable book and go through it again. So I'm so excited um, that we were able to do that. That was so fun. Okay, then we would do, um, I tried to do some kind of history, geography, social studies. Um, it's not required at this age, but I did wanna find something that would kind of work and so we that just kind of helped um explain the world and actually i meant to pull it there is another book that we read it's called all about me and my world and that was a good one too okay i had to go get my munchkin he woke up from a nap so but what i was saying was i really think we enjoyed the the dk workbooks and this was the pre-k geography one we we did that one semester And then for, uh oh, you okay? And then for language arts, 
we did the pre-k course book through the good and the beautiful we really enjoyed um the good and the beautiful um i just it covers letters and sounds vowels numbers colors motor skills sorting matching and rhyming and they just do such a great job with their curriculum um any phillips she does a great job and you can just tell my daughter enjoyed doing it <laughs> And then as our science curriculum for the first semester, we did safety, again, through the good and the beautiful. It was a safety unit. Um, we did lots of field trips. We went and visited um, like the fire station and did a whole bunch of activities that came along with this. It was so good. We enjoyed this. I'm keeping this because I want to do um, the safety curriculum with both of the kids especially when Sayla's a little bit older, when he's about Sayla's age, um, now, and then maybe again when he's a little bit older. So I definitely enjoyed that. That was a really good one. Hmm. Now, for math, we did Level K um, by Master Books. I honestly could not get my hands on the um, level K math um, curriculum through the good and the beautiful um, because it was out so I I can hear my chickens and my ducks outside I hope they're behaving themselves the big chickens keep picking on the baby chickens anyways um, I couldn't get my hands on the good and the beautiful math and so I ended up getting master books after watching um, one of the YouTube mamas that I watch um, homeschooling mamas use it and thought I actually think it was Angela Brannis. Um, she kind of bounced back and forth between the good and the beautiful and master books and I said oh my goodness I'm gonna have to try it just for a year it might not be the same we loved it we loved the idea of the story it talks about two kids Charlotte and Charlie. Um, it's very interactive. It relates. I loved it. Sayla, she flew through it. She flew through it. I was only going to do half of the book this year since it is level K and half next, like this coming up here for uh, kindergarten. And it, she flew through it. She finished the book. I had to go order the um, level one, so we are gonna stick with master books, level one math for her kindergarten year because she just, she flew through it. Okay, then we did poetry tea time and we went all the way through this book. This is Mother Goose's um, collection of nursery rhymes. And we also did a whole bunch of other books for the Poetry Tea Time um, that were theme related. Valentine's Day had Valentine's um, books, St. Patrick's Day had St. Patrick's books, day books, and things like that. So um, we went through this as well as a whole bunch of different theme books that I just did not feel like pulling each individual one out. Um, but we love and enjoy Poetry Tea Time. I just have a very hard time doing it every week. So I think I'm going to try and alternate it between library and field trips and experiments this coming um, school year. And I will show you kind of how I have the kindergarten curriculum, not kindergarten curriculum, kindergarten schedule, routine, rhythm um, typed out because I just kind of wanted not necessarily time related, but like just the flow of, okay, we go from here to here to here to here. And I think I'm going to do Poetry Tea Time once a month. And that way we can do theme ones on the month that that theme should, you know, work with. Or um, if there's not really a holiday that month, we'll just do um, some poems from um, somewhere I'll find. So, anyways, then we came into the second semester, so January through um, the end of May, and we did handwriting level K because she flew through the pre-littles. Um, she's actually not finished 
with this one I stopped her about halfway through um, because and you can tell she just enjoyed it about halfway through because it was going into writing sentences and I did not want her to do that yet. I was not ready for her to do that and I figured this can go along with her kindergarten year. Um, so right towards the end it was doing like sentences and more numbers and more patterns, um, drawing arrows, and she went through, I didn't realize she did that, she went through and she did all of the mazes through the entire book. Even though she wasn't tracing letters and everything, she was like draw, you know, go through the maze. She loves that. I need to find her a book. If y'all have any recommendations, just a workbook that's just all mazes. That's what she loves. She loves all mazes or connect the dots. Um, those are her favorites. And then the level K primer is what we did for um, her second semester. Um, and so this is kind of that like bridge between pre-K and level K. Um, and I think it was the best thing we ever did. I really was going to let her do pre-K through the entire year and then do this through the summer. Um, we ended up taking a summer break because she finished it all. She flew through her math. math. She flew through pre-K. She flew through level K primer. She's ready to go straight into level K, but I was not ready. So we've got a couple more weeks, but that's what we did. It comes with this cute um, My First Reading book. book, And, um, I mean, it's, it's perfect. I dig. I zip it. I mix it. It's a perfect first book, and the, these pictures, man, they are awesome. I love them. Okay, so along with doing our indescribable book, this is something um, my daughter got for Christmas that she is still doing through the summer, and it is the Gratitude Journal. Um, it's this cute little journal that talks about being thankful, what you're thankful for, um, the person that brought you joy today, I feel, what was the best part about your day? And I love that at the very top, you can do, go through the days of the week with them, um, write it out, and circle the little face on whether they're happy, they're sad, and whatnot. This past semester, um, that, the second semester, um, after we finished the DK workbooks, we jumped into ABC Mouse's People and Places workbook. This is for ages 3 to 8. There is definitely a whole bunch that Sayla could do. There was a couple that I skipped because it was very, um, it was not age appropriate for my daughter. Um, like writing stories. Now there was times when I would say, okay, this is what you they want you to draw. Now tell me a story and I'll write it. But like interviewing questions to ask a family member about beliefs and value and traditions, I just kind of held off. We mainly did occupations. We mainly did like the search and finds in here and um, um, being able to write and draw a story based off of a picture. So that was fun and we finished that and then the second semester we did arthropods as our science unit so i have to be fast because my battery is dying so what i was saying was the arthropods unit is a unit that we were using for science um the second semester we did not finish this unit um we went through the first couple of lessons but Okay, so my camera died, so I just wanted to go ahead and end this vlog. I was letting you know about the arthropods. We're going to finish that up um, this coming year, um, probably the first semester, and then go into mammals. I will talk about that more in the um, kindergarten curriculum video. Um, but thank you for being patient with me on this video. All of the kids were wanting to talk and hang out, and that's okay, um, <laughs> and wake up. <laughs> But I was hoping I could give y'all all of the information. I will link all of the text below. 
it's just been a day. It's been a long day, hasn't it, buddy? Okay, if you enjoy videos like this, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and share. And yeah, we love y'all. All right, bye.